Hey guys, this week for Weapons Wednesday, I'm going to show you my favorite way to throw various throwing weapons. But before we begin, if you just like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. So last week, I showed you guys some of the most unusual weapons we have on the KarateMart.com website. And then I asked you guys to go to the Community tab and vote for which one you like best. And you guys went to the Community tab and voted for... The Tactical Walking Stick Warhammer. Excellent choice, guys. In fact, after the video, a man and I had this little discussion about which weapon we would choose, and this ended up being our choice as well. So, great job, guys. So this week, I thought it would be so much fun to teach you guys my favorite ways to throw various throwing weapons. So we're going to head out into the warehouse and look at some of the newest and most popular throwing weapons we have. So at the end of this video, make sure you guys go to the community tab and vote for what type of throwing weapon you like best. And as always, there's links in the description of the video so you can find out more information on each of these products. But without further ado, let's head out to the warehouse. This is going to be so much fun. I love going back into the warehouse because it kind of reminds me of the first videos we did back in the day, which um, if you haven't seen them, don't go back and watch them because they are so amateur. I can't even watch them nowadays without cringing. So where's the first item? Right to your... Oh, geez, right here. Yep. Right here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at, I guess, is throwing axes. So our very first item is... The Golden Throwing Axe Set. Okay, cool. All right, so first off, we can see that it has a really nice heavy-duty nylon sheath. So that's kind of cool. We can hang it by the side of our body if we want. But I don't care about that. I want to see the axes themselves. So let's see how these guys look. Okay, that's kind of nice. So the thing that's nice about any sort of golden throwing weapon is if we're out in the woods and we're throwing these things, they're gonna be really easy to find because black throwing weapons are a little difficult to spot sometimes. So I love the fact that these have a gold finish because that's gonna make them very difficult to lose in the woods. Plus, they come as two in a pack. So if you do end up losing one, you still have the other to work with. So that's kind of nice. One of the other things I really like about these is the fact that they have the spike on the butt of the ax. So if you do end up missing the blade of the ax, it'll very likely spin over and stick right into that spike. So that is one thing that's very helpful when it comes to throwing axes. Um, we can also see that it's got these little hex holes in the handle of the ax. So that's just a way for them to balance them properly. Uh, the balance on these guys is right around there, uh, which is decent. I mean, with, with any throwing axe, you've got to get used to the balance of it. You've got to actually practice for, I don't know, it, typically it takes me about five minutes to learn the balance of an axe before I start to stick them consistently. Um, but I think these things will stick really nicely. The overall weight of them is approximately 8.8 .8 ounces for each axe. And the length is approximately nine and a half inches. Um, so this is actually a really nice weight for throwing axes. I think these are pretty cool. Are these the ones you want to actually throw, Amanda? No, I wanted to do my favorite ones. They're right underneath. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yeah, yes, I love these. Okay, so the next throwing axe we're gonna look at is the modern throwing axe set. I love this. In fact, on KarateMart.com, this is my favorite axe set. So. I'm glad you grabbed these. So first off, we can see that it has this really nice heavy-duty nylon sheath, so we could hang it from the side of our body if we wanted to, but I want to see the blades themselves. And this is kind of cool because these blades are just styled perfectly for throwings. Look at these. That is absolutely beautiful. Look how the blade is just pointed up here. That makes such a difference when it comes to throwing because when you're throwing them and they flip, they're often gonna stick right into that point. It just makes it so easy. So I love the shape of these. Plus the balance is absolutely perfect on these things. They've actually done all of this venting right up here on the butt of the ax and in the handle of the ax just to make them balanced perfectly for throwing. So of all the axes I've thrown, these are by far the easiest. So if you're new to throwing axes, get these guys, they're awesome. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how I like to throw axes just if you want to learn it quick and easily. What I do is I kind of take a handshake grip on these things. So I just kind of have them like this and I have the handle of the ax kind of sticking in that meaty area of the hand right there. And then I stick the handle, 
the upper part of the handle right into this index finger, right into that little nook. So it's stuck in a nook right here, it's stuck in a nook right there. And then when I'm gonna throw, I just kind of pull it over my head and toss it. And my plan is for it to spin once. So I'm not like using a baseball throw or anything. I'm like, just kind of like letting it go and almost like keeping my wrist straight so that it kind of just spins once and then sticks. And you'll see, it's just so easy to do. So these guys actually weigh about 9.7 ounces each. And the total length is approximately 10 inches. And they're made from a 3CR 13 stainless steel. So I think we've got to test them out because these are so much fun to throw. So let's actually go up front and test them out for a minute. All right, let's go. Wasn't that awesome? I absolutely love throwing axes. They're so much fun. And then as you get better, you can also do reverse axe throws too. So, so much fun. But I want to go check out another throwing weapon. So what do you have next for us, Amanda? All right, we're going to go to your left. Okay. And then another left. Oh, oh, I can see it right here. You got to. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got some throwing spikes or some bow shuriken. All right. So our next weapon is... The Ninja Throwing Spikes with Tassels. Awesome, awesome. I love these things. So first off, we can see that they come with this really nice nylon case. And what's cool about it is it's got these little wrist straps on there. So we can actually hook it to our wrist. So we could wear that underneath our shirt. And then if we ever needed one, we could just grab one of the spikes out and use it to throw. So I think that's such a cool little feature of these. They clearly come with a set of five, so that's pretty neat. But let's check out one by itself. So this is actually five and a half inches long. It's made out of a 440 stainless steel with a black finish. And what's kind of cool about these is they actually have these red tassels on them. So we carry the ones that don't have the tassels and then we carry the ones that do have the tassels. And the thing is, there's just a little difference between the way you throw the ones with tassels and the way you throw the ones without tassels. If these did not have tassels, the way you would do it is you'd kind of stick the end of the spike right into that little nook in the palm of your hand and then you stick the end of the spike right between those fingers kind of like this so it's riding up against your middle finger and then you kind of tuck your thumb in there so it's just holding it in your hand really nicely and then when you want to throw them you kind of go overhand and as you release it you're kind of like tapping the end of it so the spike goes like this as it's flying and then right when it hits a target it kind of just falls down and strikes in so it's kind of cool takes a lot of practice but once you get it once it actually clicks in your mind it's so easy now with these ones with tassels it's different and in my opinion it's much easier so the way you do these guys is you do them the same way you hold them the same way where you know they kind of stick up in between the three fingers and then you stick your thumb right on that tassel. So what's cool is when you release them, your thumb's kind of on that little tassel and that holds it for like a split second and brushes against it. So then the thing just kind of flies just straight into its target. It's hard to explain on video, but if you start playing with these, you'll get it. So just remember when you're working with these, keep your thumb right on that tassel, throw it overhead and release it. You're not throwing it like a baseball. You're throwing it overhead, kind of straight forward, letting it release and fly into its target. And they're so much fun and so easy. There's not much else to say about these. So let's actually go and test them out. So let's go up front and actually throw these at the target a little bit. All right, let's go. Wasn't that awesome? I mean, these are so much fun to throw. And I'll tell you what, if you can learn how to throw these, you're going to be the envy of all your friends because these things are so fun to throw. But that's about all I have to say about that. So, why don't we go and check out our next throwing weapon. Amanda, which way are we going? You're going to my left. Okay. And we're going to the throwing star room. Okay, perfect. And then to your left. My left, okay. Ah, I see him, I see him. Okay, cool. 
Looks like we got a couple of them here. All right, so our very next throwing weapon is the Dragon Phoenix Ninja Stars. Oh, awesome, awesome. I remember when these guys came in. I've actually been super curious about checking them out and seeing how well they throw. So, oh yeah, these things are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so look at these things, guys. We've got these kind of pinwheel style throwing stars, and then they have these really unique designs on them. Like this one is clearly a phoenix design, so that's pretty neat. And then this guy right here is a purple dragon, so that's pretty cool. The blades are not overly sharp because they've got the printing on them, but the tips are sharp. So I think they're gonna stick just fine. The weighting feels really good. Now these are clearly made out of a stainless steel. Um, they weigh approximately 2.3 ounces each, which is a really nice weight for throwing stars. And the diameter is approximately four and a quarter inches. So if you're a collector, I think these are gonna look really nice in your Ninja Star collection. And then they come with this really nice heavy duty nylon case as well. So you could hang it from the side of your body if you wanted to. But I wanna test these out because this is such a unique style of throwing star. The way I would throw these personally is just kind of like this. Throwing stars are so basic and so easy to learn. You can learn how to throw throwing stars in a matter of minutes. So that's one of the things that's so great about them. But this style, you just wanna make sure that the points are going in the right direction. So I would throw them just like this. So let's go ahead and go test them out a little bit. All right, let's go. So that was so much fun, but I'm gonna be honest, guys. The fact that these have printing over the blade of the stars actually affected the way that they stuck. So I had to use a lot of force to get these things to stick properly. So if you're gonna buy these, I would personally sharpen up these blades a little bit before you go and throw them. But overall, they're actually really easy to throw. But you actually had this other set of throwing stars here you wanted me to check out. So let's check these guys out. All right, so the next throwing weapons we're gonna look at are the silver, black, and titanium finish ninja shuriken sets. Wow, that's a mouthful. All right, let's check these guys out. All right, so first off, they come with a really nice heavy-duty nylon sheath. And this is actually pretty heavy, so these must be some pretty heavy-duty stars. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Oh, wow, this is a four set of stars. That's pretty cool. And that black on those stars looks really shiny and glossy. Look at that. I actually really like this style of stars. These are really, really nice. These specific stars are made from a 1065 German surgical steel, which we've been selling weapons made from 1065 German surgical steel for a couple of years now, and I am very impressed by how well it holds up, so that's pretty nice. Uh, once again, these have the paint over the blade of the star, but these stars are so sharp up here that that's not gonna affect their performance at all. These actually look really nice. I love the sleekness of these specific stars, but let's actually check out the other ones as well. Okay, so those were the black ones. And then here, we've got the silver version. And those just look great. Typically when someone asks me about what type of stars they should buy, I usually say they should buy something with at least five, six, or seven points on the stars, uh, just because it makes it a lot easier to stick them. So the fact that these are sets of seven point stars is really, really nice. And I also love the fact that you get four of them because if you lose one of them, it's not gonna be a big deal at all. Um, these are actually the perfect weight too. They weigh about 2.4 ounces and they have a diameter of about four inches. So if we take a closer look, you can see that it says Koga Ninja on them and then they have these little kanji around them. Uh, but let's check out the titanium finish ones as well. All right. I always love the look of titanium finish. It kind of gives them that rainbow look. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. So as far as finding them out in the woods, titanium finish just glows perfectly out there. So that is a great color when it comes to throwing stars. So I absolutely love these, but we got to go ahead and test them out. Um, the way you throw these guys is exactly the same way that you'd throw the other one, except you don't have to worry about which direction they're actually facing because it's going to stick no matter what. So all you do is just kind of throw them like this and then they'll stick every time. So let's go ahead and test them out a little bit. All 
So as you can see, out of all the weapons I've thrown in this video so far, these were by far the easiest. So if you're new to throwing stars, definitely get this set because they're actually really inexpensive for what you get, and they're really easy to throw. But uh, I want to move on to our next weapon. So Amanda, what type of throwing weapon do you have next for me? We are going to exit this room. Okay. And then to your left. Okay. And we're going to where the books are. To the book room. Okay. All right. And our next throwing weapons are the red and black scorpion throwing knives. Nice, nice. I've been kind of excited about doing throwing knives. I love throwing knives. I think they're so much fun. I am a little particular about what throwing knives I like, so I'm curious if I'm going to like these guys. So first off, these come with this really nice heavy-duty nylon sheath. And then they've got this belt loop on the side so we can hang it from the side of our body if we wanted to. But I want to see the blades themselves. So let's go ahead and open this up and... Oh, wow. These are nice. <laughs> these are really cool. I like these. Um, first off, I can tell that they're a good weight. I don't like the really light throwing knives or the really small throwing knives because the problem with those is when you throw them, they're so easy to just bounce back at you and it can be a little bit dangerous. But when you get a knife that's nice and big like this, that's not gonna be much of a problem. So these are actually about nine inches long and they weigh approximately 3.2 ounces. So that is a decent weight when it comes to throwing knives. Um, actually, the balance on these is perfect too. And then kind of the way that they balance these is they'll kind of design the blade the way they want them to, and then they'll add the venting to the handle, they'll add the venting to the blade itself, just to get the balance just right on these. Now this knife is made from a 440 stainless steel, which is pretty common for throwing knives. And then we can see that it also has this red finish around the blade of the knife and then this other one here has a black finish around the blade of the knife so that is just stunning i love the looks of these and then if we look closer at the knife we can see that it's got this little scorpion that's been etched into the knife itself that just gives it a really nice aesthetic look so i love that aspect of it you can also see it's got these little arrows on there which just give it a little bit of added grip when it comes to throwing throwing knives, there are a bunch of different ways to throw them. In fact, all you have to do is go to YouTube and you can find a million different people showing you different ways that they prefer to throw them. But I've been practicing these for quite a while now and the way that I've found the easiest to throw most types of knives is the military half spin method. All that is, is you're balancing your knife on your middle finger and your index finger with the blade facing you. Then you take your thumb and pull it down into the palm of your hand so it's kind of resting right there and then you bring your arm over your head and you release in a way that the blade spins once and then sticks so it's just one half spin out of your hand so it's just coming out of your hand spinning one half spin and into its target and that is the way that i've found to be the easiest to throw a knife the only thing is you kind of have to find the right distance and then you have to choke up or down on the knife depending on how far away you are from your target. But it's actually really easy to do. Now we actually have books that show different methods of throwing knives. So if you're looking for a book to go along with your knives, we actually have this complete knife throwing guide by Gil Hibben. That's really good. A lot of people like this, but I want to show you this military half spin method. So let's go test this on the target. So as you can see, the military half spin method works really well for throwing knives and it doesn't take very long to learn. The only thing is there are certain types of knives that it doesn't work very well with like broadhead throwing knives. But let's go ahead and check out some of our other throwing weapons. So Amanda, what do you have next for us? All right, you're gonna go straight back okay. and then to the right. Okay. And oh, then it's on the go. shelf. All right, so our last throwing weapon is 
the Ninja Throwing Card Set. Awesome, awesome. I was hoping you'd grab one of these. All right, so first off, we can see that it comes with this really nice heavy-duty nylon sheath with a belt loop, so we could hang it from the side of our body if we wanted, but you guys want to see the cards themselves, so let's open this guy up. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. So we can see that it comes in a set of five throwing cards and each throwing card has a picture of a different ninja on it. So that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and take a look at one of these. So each card is approximately three and a half inches by two and one eighth inch and they weigh approximately two ounces. So that's a pretty nice weight for these cards. We can see that they have a really nice design on them with a ninja and a kanji, and then beveled edges that kind of go on one side, and then the other side is actually flat. These are made from a 1065 German surgical steel, and the edges are kind of sharp, they could be sharper. If you saw me testing them out in my previous video, you could tell that I was having a little bit more difficulty with them. And that's because there's a couple of things that make them a little harder to throw. For one, because they're flat on one side, you have to throw them in a straight line. With a throwing star, you can actually get away with having a slight angle to your throw. But with these guys, you need to make sure that it's a very straight throw. Um, the other thing that's kind of an issue is because they're beveled on one side, they don't have the sharpest points. So what I like to do with these, that's kind of cheating the system a little bit, is I actually like to take these to a belt sander or a grinder and just kind of belt sand the other side to give them a sharper edge. You can also give them a sharper point that way. So I'm just going to tell you if you're going to buy these, that's one suggestion that might actually make a big difference for you. So let's go ahead and try throwing one of these and see if I can stick it a little bit better than last time. All right, let's go. So as you could tell, I was able to stick these okay, but they were more difficult to throw than some of the other weapons I showed off in this video. Um, but one thing I do want to mention is it is very important that you check your local laws on any of these throwing weapons because they are highly illegal in certain areas. But make sure you guys go to the community tab and vote for which type of throwing weapon you like best this week. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel and check out KarateMart.com because we've got all sorts of really cool throwing weapons on there right now. But until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah.